<laughs> Liz Perry from Evansville, Indiana. Liz, good evening. Hello. Good evening. So you are, I just love hearing you share. So I, I'm just going to stop. Go ahead. What would you like to share first? Uh, first of all, I just want to thank you guys for bringing me on here tonight. Um, this has been a long time coming. I have actually been a long time friend of Red's. I'll just go ahead and say who I am and all that. Um, I met Red on, I don't, we don't remember where, but it was a chat board, kind of like one of those CCM chat boards from, you know, back in the day in the nineties when you used to like log on with the ooh and you dial up internet. Yeah. I met him online years ago, whenever I was uh, a young kid, I was a teenager. I was probably like 14, 15, uh, when I met him. Um, so, and I just always dreamed of going to the place where he, uh, booked free concerts for years and. Um, I just wanted to do it so bad. I wanted to do it so bad that I would call him at night on my little flip on my little phone and with little <laughs> Nokia flat phone. Because this tells you the quality of what I was hearing. It was basically like you could have put it in a bucket and I would have known a difference. So I was calling him on my little Nokia phone, you know, the ones that had like the snake game on it. Okay. And he would hold up his little flip phone and let me hear whatever screamo band was on or whatever because i found that stuff so amazing <laughs> and it was like that was the best concert ever Aww. so after all these many years i find out i reconnected with red um we kept up you know here and there throughout the years but um this past year i reconnected with him um completely to be able to meet a lot of you on here uh tj and um josh if he's still there and a lot of other people, and also Elizabeth Holthouse, which we call me the other Liz, because she was there first. So the very yeah. first night I came on, I was like, no, I'm not doing that to her, the Liz, Liz, who is Liz, whatever. So that's why I changed my name to the other Liz, and it's been that way since the beginning. Um, so tonight, it's always weird when I have to change it from the other Liz, because Zoom's like, what are you doing? That's not who you are. <laughs> so anyway, enough blabbering. So this song I'm going to do first is is a worship song that I wrote, uh, I don't know, probably it was probably like 2017 or something. So it's a newer song for me. A lot of my songs are older. Anyway. I'm so alone, I place my trust. All of the ground slips away. You're still there holding my hands And your love can turn my darkness to the day Oh, 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 oh Oh, 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 oh. Like a bird flying high and free It's your banner of love over me Your love is all that I need all of my sin in the depths of the sea. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Mm. 
so let me get this straight. That was the first song you've ever played on Red's Room? The first song I've officially ever played on Red's Room. That was so good. Oh, it, it, it almost, the words were almost like a hymn. It is. In Christ. Yes. Oh, that, that is, that is a hymn. It's a hymn that I wrote. Yes. But yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause and, yeah, and, I, was, I was in the word one day and um, I was just praying and, and the words just came to me. And hmm. as you can see, I was like, oh, I don't really have a chorus for that, but um, here we go. We're just going to kind of make it up. You know, <laughs> Vanessa goes, but I can do it with her oh stuff. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, hold on Vanessa do you have anything to say about that I, I just want to hear <laughs> one of the most popular she, she's songs doing this. Hey, yeah song so I can do an oh uh -uh song right <laughs> now now I'd like to let everyone know that this woman has three children and homeschools them pray for her because that's a lot of stuff but it is so cool because she doesn't only homeschool them, she home Bibles them. No, she doesn't hit them over the head with a Bible, but she has them reading and learning. And tell us a little bit about that, because I just think um, that's awesome. So when I was growing up, uh, the scripture was never dumbed down for me. Um, I was never given these like squeaky little like veggie tale stories about Jesus. Um, I was basically, my family, my dad, it was his philosophy that he, you always give the children the scriptures exactly as, as it is. Um, so that's what I strive to do. Um, my calling is to raise little warriors. That's what I say. Raise little warriors for the Lord um, that know the word of God, uh, can tell you where to find things, um, you know, and can be able to hold your own in a discussion about the Lord. Uh, listen to other people and what they have to say, but know how to hold their own on their own beliefs and values from the scripture so. satan watch out this is a little army that's going to be raised up and it's just it, with the power of jesus with the holy spirit he's going to stomp on you man and you these these kids are going to be living in righteousness ah and it's so cool to hear because you know we hear a lot of kids are like you know oh, geez they're here this and that and you know, and they don't care and your kids care. And that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. What would you like to share next for your music? What would you like to sh share as your next song? Um, I, the ne my next song, I, I chose a song that I wrote uh, basically about praying for our children. Um, I wrote it before I had children. Um, and I wrote it about someone who, um, you know, was a mother who play prayed for her son and her son had, uh, been the one who prayed for her uh, to believe in the Lord. And then he, at some point, just decided he was done with God and walked away. And so this was kind of like my prayer for him. But also now that I've become a parent, you know, this is how it's important. It shows the importance of us uh, lifting our children up before the Lord. And if you don't have children, and if you have nieces and nephews, if you have a best, best friend who has kids, it doesn't matter. Pray for the children because the devil is after our children. Um, and he knows exactly how to get to them. And a lot of that is, you know, breaking the family ties. Um, so yes, connect with your children. If you don't have children, uh, any nieces and nephews, any family members, just pray for them. Always be on your knees for the Lord, uh, for the, for the children in our society, because uh, they're our future. Looks out the window and watches the rain fall. She never stops wondering and praying that he'll call. As the tears fall down silently on her face, she picks up the Bible and she bows her head and prays. For wherever he goes, let them say goodnight. And whatever comes, Bring him back to your lives. Tell him that there's room at the foot of your throne. And mind him that you'll never leave him alone. God, if I could ask just one more, please lead him home. Remembers the days he 
was young and carefree. All the many times he prayed she believed. She hopes in her heart you will fight the good fight and win. As she falls on her knees at night to pray for him. Lord, wherever he goes, keep him safe at night. And whatever comes, bring him back to your life. Tell him that there's room at the foot of your throne. And remind him that you'll never leave him alone. God, if I could ask just one more thing, please bring him home. Stood at her grave today and said goodbye. He hopes in his heart that her memories never fade. Quietly he sneaks into his son's room that night. Falls on his knees by his bedside and he prays. But wherever he goes, keep him safe at night. And whatever comes, lead him to your lights. Tell him that there's room to your drum. And remind him that you'll never leave him alone. God, if I could ask just one more thing, please lead him home. Please lead him home. Okay, I I almost lost it on that one. That was beautiful, and I'm I'm getting all kinds of the 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 people that are we got applause going on in the in the room and and Liz and Poppy and Lisa and uh, Bianca they're they're just loving on you oh, and my people. those are my people. I know they're so <laughs> beautiful. Thank you, thank you guys for watching tonight, and I'm floored. I'm. You know, I, I knew there was something about you that was very, very deeply, you know, your love for God is just wonderful. And when I asked you, I am, uh, if it, this might be the first time I cry, but when I asked you, because I, I love writing scripture lyric songs, and when I was kind of like dry and I was like, guy, what do you got? And you, you gave me Psalm 91 and, and I mean, that, that is such a rich psalm. It just has, and, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm blanking on it because I've done a million things since then, but, but I'm going to go back. That, that's actually going to be my first recording, by the way, is, is to do the four song suite. But I, I just love how, how you probe the depths of, of, the, of scripture. And, and here in your notes, it says, you love sharing the truth of the gospel in song and conversation. And tell me a little bit about that. Um, I basically decided I'm never going to be the type of person who apologizes for how much I love Jesus, how much I love God, but I don't want it to be this weird extra thing like, oh, you find out later that Liz loves Jesus. No, I want it to be permeate everything that I do so that whenever I'm talking to a complete stranger, I just talk about God. And if it offends them, doesn't it say that the rock of Christ will defend, that it will offend those who, who need to hear the gospel? Always preach truth and love, but always let it be just our lifestyle you know yeah. uh, so it's not like we have to sit and preach a sermon because we don't have to we have to live a sermon mm -hmm. we have to be that sermon um, just be the be the best parent you can be be the best sister you can be best brother you can be um, whatever it may be whatever God has called you to do it the best that you can all for his glory because that's the best sermon that we could preach is to live out our life to Jesus um I believe I'm getting a note here. Um, your sister, do you have a sister named Sarah Perry? Yeah. yeah. Sing it, sis. Remember when you wrote this song in a heart? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> this is just, this is just beautiful. Thank you so much. My family, uh, they, they know I've been hiding this stuff for a while. So 
<laughs> yeah, don't make me cry, man. Why, why don't you stay at the sit for no. months after? <laughs> no, I was, I was, I was gonna say, no, you're, you're not gonna not cry because I'm not, I, I'm crying, so you're, you're gonna join me here. <laughs> but anyways, um, anyways, go ahead. What, what would you like to share with us next? I'm gonna share an original that I read has been waiting for like 15 years for me to do this on. <laughs> I wrote this probably when I was like 15 years old and. There's nothing perfect about this song. This is my Avril Lavigne days um, when I was transitioning away from listening to that type of music and yet the sound is still hanging on. And But I wrote the song. Um, I was, you know, typical angsty teenager, you know, just real down on myself. But I, um, I had struggled with how I saw myself and it, it meshed into how, oh, this is how God sees me. You know, that's how... I saw it is if I see myself like this, you know, if I see all my flaws and, and, and everything, and I didn't understand grace, I didn't understand the grace of God. Um, I only saw that my flaws, um, <clears throat> and you know, if I see me like this, you know, of course the God of the universe who can see everything has to see all of my flaws as well. But I was missing the most important component of grace is that God no longer looks at me and sees me because I'm now covered by Jesus Christ. So when he looks at me, now he sees not not his wrath and not my brokenness, but he sees uh, the perfection of Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. So um, this is a song um, where God is reminding me as a teenager that he doesn't see me as you know, just this broken, but he, see, he calls me daughter. He loves to call me daughter. Can you wrap your arms around me? Cause I'm finding it hard to speak Can you feel this pain inside of me? Cause I can't tell you I'm weak All these dark and empty spaces They ache with yearning for your love and my heart begins to forfeit the things I can't rise above. All I see is just a crippled beggar when I look at you. But you see the bigger picture, and you know what I should be. Sometimes I think you're crazy because you love me, though I'm broken. You've not meant for me to stay here Because you want me to be free And you love to call me daughter In the state of my confusion I have begun to walk away But you won't let me leave you here Cause you stay, you have come to stay mm -hmm. Though I've given you this tent You tell me that you want a home So I'm breaking down the shelter And I'm building you a throne All I see is just a crippled beggar when I look at you. But you see the bigger picture, and you know what I should be. Sometimes I think you're crazy because you love me, though I'm broken. But you've not meant for me to stay here, because you want me to be free. And you love to call me daughter. But to call me daughter, I'm so glad that you're my father. Can you wrap your arms around me? Cause I'm finding it hard to speak. Red, 
you've invited me to host several shows and I'm telling you, we're not even halfway through and my goodness, that was beautiful. I, I can't believe the line that you said, you're breaking down my shelter and building me a throne. And, and I just think of homeless people and people that, that are just trying to exist. And one day God's just going to step into their lives, our lives. And what we think maybe is like wonderful. He's just going to say, no, no, no. You've got something so much better awaiting you. Beautiful song. Thank you for sharing it, Liz. That really ties into my favorite set of verses I was telling you about from Second Corinthians 5 about how, you know, our bodies, we can't wait, like we can't fathom. Our bodies are literally breaking down because this is a temporary shelter. This, mm -hmm. this what we live in here is a temporary shelter and we long for our heavenly home. Um, and our hearts long and cry out, you know, Abba Father, you know, come get us, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It, it was funny my my friend uh, was every time I said rapture he got really mad at me he's like why, why are you getting mad at me that, that's not the word it's harpazo and he he made a big point about it. rapture is, is a latin word and but harpazo, harpazo is, the, is it is a root word of you know it means literally to be snatched away yeah exactly and that's what I was going to say is that it's our Americanized version of what but we but I ideas we steal ideas. <laughs> yes, and and, and it's it's great that you knew that because that's yeah. not you know common knowledge and and so I want to be harpazoed. I want I want to be snatched out of here too. I I'm totally in agreement with you. What um, let's see uh, what else did I have here? I think I think that, yeah. So here I got to put your Facebook up there. I'm slacking. I'm sorry. I'm just so caught up in, in what you're sharing, but, but wh you what are you, what, what are you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Whoops. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just, so this last one is not an original. It's a song that probably like everybody in the whole wide world knows because it's been covered by 1500 million people. But uh, for my last song, I was going to do how he loves us. And it seems to fit the theme of this evening, which is uh, just this reminder that though we are not worthy, um, Christ came and gave himself for us and he loves us. So um, he loves us. Bye. He loves John us. McMillan. Oh, sorry. He is jealous for me. And he loves like a hurricane. I am a tree. Bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy. All of a sudden, I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory. And I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are. Maintain these 
Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Liz, so much. What a what a beautiful set, and just loved hearing. I, I can't wait to find out more about you because it's like, my goodness, it's you're 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 a warrior. You're yeah, like we didn't a, even talk about my Amish days or anything like that. So <laughs> it was it was like it was like you're you're like a you're like a, a master sergeant in God's army, and you're just you're bringing bringing in the troops, and you're you know, one by one. And, and I just want to reiterate one thing that you said tonight. That's probably the most important thing is pray for the youth. I know a lot of people are discouraged. You know, there's lots of stuff going on, you know, that there's, there's just junk going on. And I have had the pleasure of meeting some amazing young people who were trained up in the word and they are just, just, you know, marching for God. And, and they're like, there's this amazing. And it sounds like you're, you're just raising them up too. let's pray for the kids. Let's pray for the children and let's keep praying that they are raised up in the way that they should live. Be great. One more quick thing. Are you doing anything like musically? Are you out and about? So I know you've got your, 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 Oh, well, I mean, you know, if you guys, you know, a plug for Monday nights is that on Monday night, um, co uh, friend of Reds, and you see him tomorrow night, Pastor Casey uh, runs um, Lion's Den Bible Study every Monday night here on Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, for anybody in the world who wants to join, some of us come every Monday night, and others come whenever they can. It doesn't matter. You can come whenever. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I get the details later from Red because I'm going to botch that if I try to say it in your time, the proper time zone, because my time zone, I know what it is. But that's anyway, all right. so that's basically that's all I do. I um I lead worship there sometimes, um, but otherwise, musically, yeah, I do worship in my own home with my kids, uh, not with my guitar usually, but, you know, otherwise, no, I just, I'm just me and I'm just a mom and I do mom things. It takes up a lot of my time. So... <laughs> Well, and the other thing I want to add, let's pray for your music and your ministry. And we're just going to pray that God just favors you and, and just gives you abundance in those areas. Thank you again for sharing. I love, I love that I get to be the, the host for the first night you get to sing. Thank you so much for sharing. And there's going to be more unless we get heart positive. <laughs> Please. But, <laughs> yeah, come Lord Jesus. I, I, I agree. But anyways, everybody, Liz Perry from Evansville, Illinois. Thank you again for sharing. Good night.